So, we have <laughs> so Valley Electric. Uh, it is Incineroar 3, Cats in Space, Parting Shot, Snarl, Multi Attack, Metal Sound to combo into Kyogre. We're outspeeding things like um, Jolly Max Speed Landorus, and thus every, you know, weather duo. Uh, we're able to parting shot out of them. We deal like a significant amount of damage to uh, Calyrex Shadow while also tanking every hit from it, including Choice Specs uh, Astral Barrage. Uh, multi attack is a two shot on Kyogre. Actually, a solid chance to uh, like if they have any kind of chip, a solid chance to KO from that point. We have a Bulkization Crown able to take a Presbyterian Blades from Groudon uh, at neutral as long as it's not running Life Orb or like Soft Sand or something. Enough speed to outspeed Regieloki at plus one. We have an AV Kyogre, just a generally bulky set. Um, I believe we just tank play rough super easily. Uh, we have a White Herb Landotherian standard set, Focus Ash and Moongus, uh, a bulkier set, able to one-shot Gastrodon with Seed Bomb. Beyond that, it's like normal. And we have my Safety Goggles Thunderous with Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Eerie Impulse, Rain Dance. So yeah, let's grab some games. Let's see if we can make uh, Incineroar 3 work. That way we can add it to the Incineroar catalog. Incineroar 3 Cats in Space is too long. Alright, fine. Incineroar 3. But in our mind, it is Incineroar. Incineroar 3 Cats in Space. Every Incineroar requires Snarl. This is true. Let me keep an Incineroar catalog. Hold on, let's get an Incineroar catalog going. Oh, my bad. Alright, we'll do it after this game. So, um, let me think. Honestly, the Incineroar lead isn't that bad. It can definitely eat a hit from Regieleki as we resist everything. Um, I quite like the idea of actually just leading off like Incineroar 3 and Kyogre. In the back, Zacian's a very solid pick, and we can go Amoongus. Hey, Ryu, thank you so much for the, for the bits. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get the catalog going. New box. Zayas book catalog. Uh catalog logu. That's how you logu catalogu. BGC 2022. There's we're still waiting on them, so we have time. Alright, obviously we have the original Incinora. This is the one that I use on like every single team. So I'm just going to throw that in there. That's Incineroar. Where's Incineroar 2? I use him on a lot of teams, so he should be in here somewhere. Uh, Blastoise Bounce. Yep, Incineroar 2. There we go. And we have Incineroar 3. Cats in Space. Alright, our third Incineroar is done. Two, uh, Three more and we have a team. Three more and we got a whole team. Also, this guy's still not picking his mons. The Incineroar Compendium. <laughs> the Cat Pendium. Incineroar 4 is gonna be Snarl Zacian. Dude, the, the requirements to being an Incineroar, in my opinion, are you have to be able to tank hits that you really shouldn't be able to. You have to be able to lower both attacking stats so special attack and physical attack uh and you just have to be saucy as hell those are the th those are like the three things so you tank hits you lower both attack and special attack and you're saucy as hell that's it if you have that you're an incineroar that is an incineroar baby that's show business baby um i have a couple of options here I don't quite see a reason not to just go for the multi-attack into a water spout. Cause like, what, what's what's the issue there? Like truly, like what do they do? Yeah, we're good. Dude, I'm about to, I'm about to do the silly move. I'm about to click the silly on him. He has no clue I'm about to click the silly. Palkia? Palkia? My good sir, this is an Incineroar 2 team. Check this out. Metal Sound, <laughs> which does more. Dude, do you think this one-shots? I'm gonna hope it one-shots. That'd be really funny. Oh yeah, come on. One hit KO. Oh no! 
Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Um, he shouldn't be able to win this if I just multi-attack the Palkia. And I can actually Snarl, but I don't want to give him weakness policy. I was hoping that would one-shot. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to get in my Zacian. Even if they go Incineroar here, I have my own Incineroar. I just like Parting Shot and Protect. Yeah. We're good. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the Parting Shot. And Protect. And if they go for, like, Trick Room, Amoongus comes in and I put him to sleep and I win. There we go. Alright, uh, I go for the Spore. Unless you're Safety Goggles, you don't win this. And I can go for Sacred Sword. Let me Rage Powder that hit away and Behemoth Blade, because now I'm actually kind of scared. Alright, we're good. We're good. Spore, Sacred Sword. That's game. GG. Nice. So we actually got to see some Incineroar 3 cheese there. That was nice. I, I hate losing against, um, like, I get that, like, foul play is good for a lot of Pokemon in this format, especially Shedinja. You know, I have another Shedinja option. But I think this team has enough Shedinja options. I got one, two. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's a cope. Um, but I like being able to one-shot Gastrodon, especially on, like, teams that have Kyogre. Um, speaking of which, Incineroar 3 lead here is actually very, very good. Oh, yo, the Incineroar 3 lead here is a little busted if we're being real. It's a little busted if we're being real. Let's go ahead and lead off the same way. Uh, I'm going to bring my Amoongus, and I'm going to bring my... I kind of want to bring Thundee, but Zacian's also just very, very good. Can Pangoro be Incineroar 4? Let's find out. I guess technically it does have Parting Shot. Does it tank hits it, it would otherwise, and is it saucy? Th those are like the uh, those are the questions we have to ask. I'll take a look at that team review right after this match. Um, let's go for a parting shot on you, and I'm gonna go hard into Amoongus. Alright, it is Eerie Impulse, that's fine. Leaf Blade, I can live with that. Got a parting shot off there. Let's get in the Zacian. It's probably gonna be Taunt on his guy. No. I think my play here is to Rage Powder Play Rough. Not quite a one shot. In fact, the berry kind of saved him there. I still just Rage Powder play rough here. He's probably not Goggle Shedinja. Actually, I shouldn't even risk the play rough. I'll Behemoth Blade Rage Powder. He needs a para here. That's fine. I didn't want to predict that because I just thought it was a little bit too risky. Um, no reason not to go Incineroar 3. Seed Bomb. Incineroar 3 can't be paralyzed, and I have options versus this. I can just click Snarl as well. Ooh, that hurt more than I needed it to. Definitely need to get rid of you. Let's Snarl here and Seed Bomb again. He's probably going to ally switch. But this double up should do it. Alright, and he's not goggles, which means if I get my, my thing up, I just win. My hail, I mean. Alright, um... I got fully paralyzed, which kind of sucks. Let's snarl again. He can't afford to stay in on that. I don't go down to another one. I think I just literally double attack again. Or I could also snarl here and take this opportunity again in Zacian. Yeah. That was the play. Do you have Endure? He does. That's fine. I threaten this Kartana pretty bad. Let's get in the Amoongus. I need to keep you healthy. 
And I'm going to go ahead and go for a Sacred Sword on the Shedinja. Assuming he wants to ally switch here. And he should be targeting the, the Incinera 2. Or the Incinera 3. Alright, that's fine. I got rid of Thunderous. This is actually really good. He's not like Swords Dance or anything, so. I'm cool with this. I can try to put the Shedinja to sleep, which should make my endgame very, very, very good. So let's try to put him to sleep, uh, and we'll go for a. Do I just attack here is the question. Maybe I I rage powder away a possible attack here. And I just sacred sword. I'm not I'm not gonna predict. And I'm not rage powdering the Cartana, I'm rage powdering like Shadow Sneak or like Will O Wisp, but mostly concerned with that. Alright. That's fine. I'm still faster and I can rage powder away this hit, but I'm actually gonna make a little bit of a is my play here to Rage Powder and just Sacred Sword Cartana again? Because if he airstreams my Amoongus, I could lose here. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a little bit of a prediction, which kind of sucks. I got it. Cool. Oh, no, you're kidding me, but it's fine because I'm good. <laughs> oh, that's fine. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the Spore. I can win by going for like Max Hailstorm. So I always Spore here and I always Behemoth Blade. Get in these two. My play now is actually a little bit scary. Oh, I don't actually have the tools to beat this. What am I doing? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I actually don't have the tools to beat it. I forgot I don't have an ice move. I forgot I don't have an ice move. Marcos, why are you stupid? Uh, Okay, I know how I win this, but it involves Dynamaxing, something I very much do not want to Dynamax. I don't want to Dynamax you. Okay, I think we won. Ooh. <laughs> that scared me. That scared me. I thought I was going to lose there. I forgot I don't have ice moves. GG. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Music's good. That's good to know. All right. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Give me a moment. My word. On God. Well, isn't that something? Okay, no, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so, um... Thunderous here just seems absolutely go to with the Shosh. Um, if we're being real, it's absolutely go to with the Shosh. But Amoongus is also very necessary here. I'm gonna say that my safest lead is just going Incineroar 3. To be honest, it gives me like parting shot stuff. Um, I, it also is kind of an answer to ho -Oh, which could be quite annoying here. Let's go with this lead. It's a little bit like risky. Or actually, no, 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 no. Incineroar 3 Lando is like a really good lead. Zacian in the back. And I don't really need Kyogre. I think I get more out of leaning into Amoongus. Can a Persian be Incineroar 6? Anything can be Incineroar if you if you like you know believe in yourself and 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 something. Uh, yeah, teamwork. I don't know. Um, I could try to one shot this with a max rockfall. I'd rather just get speed boost if we're being real. All right, that's fine. That's gonna be like a two shot. They can reflect. While this isn't gonna do that much, um, this should be a lot. Oh, that's a bit concerning. Do I want to get my Amoongus in here? Alright, that's good. Alright, that wasn't great. I definitely want a parting shot on you, but... Still very scared. All right, that's fine. Let's get you in. Get a speed boost so I now outspeed Gastrodon. I'm gonna get Yawned on, but that isn't too bad. 
Because like I said, I outspeed the Gastrodon now. Um, I should be able to spam Spore there. It probably won't stay in. I'll get my Incineroar 3 in on the field. Are you Goggles? Do it Goggles? Do it be Goggles? That's the question. Uh, let's Parting Shot on you. And Protect. And we're going to get in Orlando. I just like to imagine a bunch of Pokemon that idolize Incineroar, and then there's Marcos the Incineroar training saying, anyone can be Incineroar if you believe. <laughs> Alright, can I tell you guys something that's like a little bit of a secret? Um, thank you. Uh, I think that White Herb ho -Oh is the best way to run it this format. And I'm tired of pretending it isn't. Alright, uh, he should be very scared of Rock Slide. And the fact that he definitely doesn't KO me, so I'm gonna go for a Spore Rock Slide play. That seemed to be correct, as long as you don't have Taunt. Oh, it was Lumberry. Do I eat this hit? I definitely don't. I definitely don't. But I can get some Regenerator stuff, and I can keep my Focus Sash. Um, I go Incineroar here, I go Zosh in here, that's like my safest way of doing this. He should be air streaming in Sonora. Alright. Let's go for a parting shot, and I'm gonna get my Lando in on the Zacian. If I get this parting shot off, I don't think we can lose. Primal in Sonora. Alright, didn't get the parting shot. Not the end of the world, though. That is a pretty decent Intimidate there. Let's go Zacian. I'm gonna double out into Amoongus, maybe? No, I think I just protect getting Amoongus. I do have to be scared of the Airstream, though. It's fine, I'm gonna eat that very well. I have the opportunity to put this guy to sleep. Let's go Landorus. Um... And I think I actually just want to put this guy to sleep. I'm more concerned with you, and I don't think the Lando, like, just stays in and eats this. Ice Beam getting revealed is a little bit scary, though. Alright, if I get the Spore off, I'm in a really good spot. I just don't- I just can't get Ice Beam done like my Lando. Alright, that's great, that's great. Uh, be very fearful of Rock Slide. And I think... I think my play here is to actually attempt to Rage Powder. Alright, I know how I win this. I'm gonna let my Moongus go to sleep. This is gonna be a nasty play if it works. Alright, we're good. Rock Slide, I'm gonna attempt to wake up. ho -Oh shouldn't take this, ever. This should also do a decent chunk. Ah, I missed the Lando. That sucks. Alright, Amoongus, please wake up. I'm gonna Swords Dance again and try to Seed Bomb. Pivot out, Stinky. Pivot out, Stinky. Alright, that works. Don't get Ice Beamed. Oh no. Eat it. Okay, we live. It comes down to, like, me waking up this turn pretty much. I could go for a fly into this Lando, and that'd be nasty. That'd be quite nasty of me. Ah, oh, man, that kind of sucks. Okay. Because I'm going to get rock slided on. That's my concern. I'm going to fly here and try to wake up. Oh, let's go. Seed Bomb, wake up. Uh, I have to do this again. All right, hopefully I go second. All right, not the end of the world. Lando revealed protect. I would say in this in this situation, the Lando always protects. I'm going to go for rock slide play rough, and that should KO Gastrodon. And then it comes down to me. Yeah, that, that's my play. 
Protect your protect your Lando. Come on. You gotta protect. There's no way you don't protect her. Because you know I one-shot you. Oh, let's go. Play rough. I get the crit. Rock slide should do a ton. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we win. It comes down... It literally comes down to a Lando speed tie, which is really unfortunate, but regardless... Come on. Come on. Oh, you know what? I win. I win. As long as I don't miss here. As long as I don't miss, I win. Come on, Lando. All right, good. GG. That was scary. That was like a really scary game. Okay. Am I actually facing a Rapidash? That's kind of weird. I, I'm concerned because like, granted, we're on, we're on my alt here. You know, we're in, we're in like the high 1400s. 1400s isn't like the best players. It's like players that know what they're doing, but they're using suboptimal Pokemon for the most part. I don't know what this Rapidash is going to do, but clearly it's been doing something right if they're using it here. Um, I like Thunderous quite a bit. Thunderous on lead is actually very good. Finny's been picking up with the sleep users, but Coco gets out class as an electric type. Brian, thank you so much for the two months. Appreciate it. I think I can always, like, go Thundy here. And AV Kyogre is actually very solid. So we'll do that. Zacian in the back. And I'll bring I'll bring Incineroar 3 for posterity. Alright. Um I think I always go for the max strike. Like Eerie Impulse Max Strike seems to just be the right play. Orange Joe Rapidash incoming. You're probably right. You're probably right. I'm not gonna lie. You are most likely completely correct. Alright, I go Zashin here. I'm gonna protect and actually go for the max strike on the whim. Because this is always gonna be ranged now. And for all I know, it's like Cotton Spore when it's a cut. Oh, it is. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Luckily, I'm very specially defensive, so I should live this hit. Um... Let's go for it. I'll also just Geyser here, because Geyser should KO Whimsicott, and then I have, like, a decent chance of winning. I think I live this with the bulk I got. Oh, he hailstormed. He tried to call a switch. I'll take it. I'll take it. Is my Kyogre abhorrently slow? Yes. Am I probably going to lose? Maybe. Maybe. But let's see what we can do. Okay. Um, we've reached an issue. I think with all my bulk, my play is always going to be to Behemoth Blade this Ditto in Origin Pulse. I don't protect, because if they double the Kyogre, I always go down. But I think I tank a hit if they don't double. Then again, Ditto can always just attack the dude. Or, actually, what am I doing? Uh, uh, my Kyogre's slower than this thing. I protect, I go in Sinor. Did you eat a hit? You eat a hit. We made sure that you did. Back in, back in training, we made sure that you would eat this hit. Alright, um, I don't need to worry about Ditto because I'm going to be faster than when I come in. I need to always, 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 always do, like, this. Metal sound better coming close. Oh, no, I think we win now. What? Okay. It comes down to this. I need this Origin Pulse to, like, KO both of these guys. I made an oopsie. I will not, I will not lie. I made a little bit of an oopsie there. But if I can take this, like, player off... Oh, he Behemoth Bladed. He Behemoth Bladed. It's gonna come down to, uh... Wait. There's no way you're faster. <laughs> He's faster at 0.5? So that's Scarf Ditto. He's faster at point. That's insane. Okay, GG. The Scarf Ditto is faster at 
Terrifying. Like Lando Thunderous. Kyogre in the back. Oh, no, no. I almost misclicked my entire team. Lando Thunderous, Kyogre in the back. And I'm going to leave the Incineroar at home today. Yeah. Probably my best interest just to go for the Airstreams immediately. Electroweb, it's going to hit my Thundee. I should tank a hit. He crits me, though. That could be close. Foul play. Oh, okay. That kind of sucks. But we're probably fine, considering the damage he just, you know, did. I'm going to go Zacian here. I'm going to go ahead and Airstream you, Protect. Uh, at plus one, I outspeed Regieleki, and then this Aleki won't be able to make me slower. And it, it's not Life Orb Aleki, because we saw... Like, the fact that they're Electroweb and they didn't show life orb means that they probably don't have bounce, so we're good. All right, that's great. <laughs> they wake up a new incinerator just got released. All right, there's the dawn. Okay. I feel good about this. Let's uh, airstream. And, ooh, I think I just attack here. I airstream Aleki, and I like... Uh, no. Is that my play? I think I have to airstream Aleki. Behemoth Blade. Yeah. We're good. That's that damage I needed. That's the damage I needed. I just win now. Because... I don't KO myself with an Earthquake. But I also can't afford to Rock Slide. We can Hyper Beam here if we're being real. Hyper Beam is like actually probably our best play because we're going for it into the Groudon. And I don't want to miss. And Water Spout, eh, Water Spout would still do it. Yeah, he's wasting valuable Dynamax turns, so. There's no way he wins this in the end, right? I don't think so. I think I can literally just win it with Lando. And we'll Hyper Beam because it's funny. Yeah, GG. Nice. A little bit sad I, I didn't get to Hyper Beam. That'd be really funny. But Incinerator 3's place is usually just versus like Kyogre. You know what? Let's uh let's go Ogre. I think Ogre, Lando, Amoongus, Zacian's probably the play. Yeah. Let's go for the max strike on the Rayquaza. I'm AV, so I like eat every hit from it. I think I need to hold on to Amoongus if I want to win. But Zacian's also very important, so let's just go for Rock Slide. There's the wind, there's the wind. He crit me, which is a little bit unfortunate because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have taken nearly as much. Break the I probably should have tar uh, targeted the Amoongus if we're being real. But I kind of like just making this, like, Rayquaza just impotent. <laughs> um, I'll hold on to you now. I'll go Zacian. Nice. He's taking a little bit too da too much damage from this. He loses his Rayquaza if he attacks next turn, I believe. I wasn't paying attention. So let's max strike the uh, the Whimsicott. And I'm going to go into a Moongus. Or maybe I just protect here and just eat the hit. Cotton Spore, that's fine. Yeah, he goes down. This... Might KO? Yeah, okay, I crit. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, that, that might be the deciding factor. <laughs> There's the Incin. Uh, I definitely cycle in my Lando here, but the question is where. 
They're probably going to fake out my Kyogre, if anything. Or probably my Zacian, now that I think about it. Let's go Moongus Lando. I just have to cycle in Lando, like, once. And then we're fine. He misses a play rough on the Amoongus. Not that that one mattered too much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for a Spore onto you. And I'd rather keep my... I'd rather Intimidate a second time, so I'm going to sack my Lando. Or my, my Zacian. And I do get the Spore off, which is super, super nice. Uh, so here, we'll just go ahead, Protect, and Sacred Sword the Incineroar, and we should be good. Let's see if it's like Choppleberry or something wacky. It might be something a little wacky. Ooh, it lived. Okay. Uh, now I just Rage Powder. No. Actually, yeah, I do just Rage Powder Sacred Sword. He wakes up. That's fine. We're going to Intimidate you again. Um, I can now... Just attack, honestly. Fly Behemoth Blade. I'm actually faster. That's a pretty slow Zacian, considering my speed. Alright, that's game. <laughs>